Howdy, Possum Patty here and little TT too. Yes, and it is Friendship Friday. And I am going to open up some mail from three of my friends and give their channels a shout out. Come on along. Well, maybe there's going to be a journal page involved here somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's start with the small one. Good things come in little packages, right? And this one is from Rosie at Rosie's Creative Wings. Ooh, let's see. Looks very red and green and Christmassy. It is an envelope. I bet you she made this with some stitches along the side. And inside is, ooh. I love it. Made with love. Rosie's Creative Wings. Look at that. How fun. Super fun. Super fun. I love this little sparkly reindeer with the jewel for nose and eyes. You know me. I love my sparkle. And oh, what is this? Oh, I have to open this. It looks like the tree of life. Can I get it open? Thank you, Rosie. Oh my gosh, so this is special. Wow. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rosie. I love it. I don't think I'll put that in the journal. <laughs> I want to put it someplace special. Actually, I could make a dangle with it on one of the journals, maybe, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it on my pocketbook. It's gorgeous. I love the symbol of the Tree of Life. Thank you, Rosie. Now, let's go over and look at Rosie's channel. And this is Rosie's Creative Wings with the lovely and creative Rosie. She has 1,520 subscribers. Look at this beautiful banner with the fairy. Oh, I love that, Rosie. That is gorgeous. And she also has a variety of videos. Look at this. Free Etsy printables, Timu. A lot of people doing the Timu lately. She did a Secret Santa collab. I'm really interested in her collage art and her mixed media art because I don't, you know, I want to start doing more art in 23. Sharing her second mini junk journal. She's got some mini junk journals, some abstract art going on here. Junk journal art. Art journal time. I've got to check out some more of her art journal. I haven't watched her art journals lately. And I want to get into that. So, Rosie, you're going to be my inspiration. She has some eBay finds on there. She's some vintage finds. Sharing her hauls. Lots of creative art prompts and play. And then this is going back to uh, Halloween Journal, Little Golden Book Halloween Journal. We love our Little Golden Book journals, don't we? Yes, we do. Project shares, just stashing. Lots of creative fun here on Rosie's channel. Creative Journal. Well, maybe that's what I should call mine, the Creative Journal. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, she's got happy mail going down here. Playing card art challenge. Wow. She is really into doing all this creative journaling and making, creative making. So let me get back to the top. Try not to make you too dizzy here. But please check out Rosie's Creative Wings. Okay, next is from... Sharon at Connection of Lives and Interests 2020. So she's been at it two years now. Oh, did you make this, Sharon? Yeah, she was making cards. Oh, I love the black and white with the red. And she's got these little three dimensional stickers on there. 
candy cane, peppermint candy, lollipop, and a mug of cocoa. Hand stamped with love by Connection of Lives and Interests 2020. And inside, cheers to another year filled with love and happiness. Blessings, Mr. Thumbs Up, Sharon, and Cosmo. Cosmo is her little puppy. Oh, thank you, Sharon. She made this all by hand with love. Let's check out her channel. This is Connections of Lives and Interests 2020, and this is Sharon's channel. She has 817 subscribers. Lately, her channel has really been taken off, and as you can see, she has a variety of videos. She has a lot of fun with her little dog, Cosmo. She has information, tips and tricks, and Tea Tuesday, and she asks you for your opinion, and she, she does some fun investigations. She has hauls and recipes and diamond painting and happy mail and meet me Mondays. <laughs> she she has a lot of things going on here. <laughs> Look at this. And she also does crafts and painting and she makes cards and Look at all this stuff. VRs, prayer requests. There's a little dog, Cosmo, again. Uh, her husband built a cabin in the backyard. And she had some videos on that. She just has a lot of videos. She was doing a happy birthday challenge where if it was your birthday, she would come to your channel and watch and watch and watch to support your channel. So lots going on on her channel. Quite a variety of things. She likes nature. She likes dragonflies. She likes critters. Uh, she has a wonderful garden in the summertime. Here's some of her diamond painting over there. There's another one. <laughs> she likes to do some funny stuff. She's always cooking up a special recipe or having some snacks. <laughs> so please check out... She, oh, here's one of her little critters. Can you see him here? Little lizard. <laughs> so please check out Sharon's channel. I just love getting handmade goodies from my friends. Now this one is from Heather C. At Crafter's Alley with Heather C. And she's got Howdy, and she drew on here. Happy Mail to You, Happy New Year, Merry and Bright. That's my junk journal for Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll have to put the envelope in my junk journal. <laughs> Merry and Bright. And let's see what she sent. To someone special. Ooh. Voila. Mug of cocoa. I love it. Look at a sparkly whipped cream on there, bow and a candy cane. It says howdy. Apologies apologies if this didn't make it before Christmas. I'm the queen of procrastination. Well I share that crown with you, Heather. Hope you have or had a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for all you do on YouTube. Your number one fan. She's my possum peep. <laughs> Warm wishes for a sweet and happy holiday. Oh, I love it. And then she sent some goodies. Oh, is this an ATC? Let's see what it says here. Artist trading card. Title, winter date 2012-2022. Heather C. Four out of nine. I didn't even know she made these. And this one is... Winter, this is one out of nine, so I got the very first one. Oh, I love the little bird she drew with the blue accents, and she got some washi tape on there and stickers. And this one, she's got a did you draw that, Heather? A little snowman on there, or is it a stamp? I can't tell, maybe it's a stamp. Oh, I love them! I love them. And there's something else. Wait, 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 there's something else. 
And here are, let's see. Oops. She's, oh, she sent some elephants and some snowflakes. Can you see those? Yeah. It's a little dark now. And I got some blue and some white. All right, let's go check out Heather's channel now. And this is Heather C's channel, Crafter's Alley by Heather C. And she has a new banner. She's got her face up there now. How lovely, lovely. I love it, Heather. She has 274 subscribers. And she also has a variety of videos. Uh, what I love most about her channel is her journaling and her junk journaling. And she has altered notebooks and junk journals and she's got a little planner going over here she made a christmas journal from the amazon catalog she does color with us you rock art trash trash tuesday thank you heather for joining me on trash trash tuesday this was her November journal. You have to check out her November journal. It is gorgeous. She does Thrifty Thursdays, Dollar Trees, Michaels, Family Dollar, What's on My Desk Wednesday. Lots going on here. Check out her Thrifty Thursday there. Oh, her October composition notebook. That was... Um, that was a lot of fun too. She did, she gave me the idea for this. Now I bought the supplies, but I haven't done it yet, Heather. But to wood, wood burn a cover for a journal. And I saw her do that and I was like, oh, I have to do that. So I went out and bought the stuff and I put it away because I have a spring theme uh, in mind for that. So I'm still gonna do that. And her back to school journaling. She teaches the young kids. Here's that wood burning flower that she did. Tag Tuesdays. All kinds of things going on here. So please, she hasn't been doing it that long. Yeah, she's, she's like a newbie, but she's gotten pretty good with her view. She's got, you know, 157, 136. Look at all. This one's got 558 views. You go, Heather. Look at that. Wow. Good for you. And 274 subscribers. Please check out Heather's channel. I decided I would pop these cards right into my very large monster journal. <laughs> And I am just covering up this page. I know I gotta cover up the birdie with some blue Christmas paper from one of the packs. And oh, I keep saying this over and over and over again. Oh, I gotta finish this. <laughs> I said it's too big. All right, now what I plan to do is put this one here and that one there. And this one down here, because see, they're going to fit perfect. But before I glue these in, I was thinking of putting this paper here. And then I didn't mention the vellum. There was a really beautiful vellum in the pack. Making two vellum pockets for these ATCs right inside the card. And then, oh, like I got some room for some other stuff here. So I should look around and see what other people have sent me. <laughs> and maybe I can stick something else in here too. Can always add more, can always add more. So I'm just gonna cut this down to size. Well, I hope if you're not already familiar with these three ladies, you will go and check them out. And you can see they have quite the variety of videos on their channels. I enjoy each and every one of them. And have been watching them for quite a while. I will link those channels below. Hope this works. Okay, now 
what do I need to do here? Maybe fold this in half and then glue it down. I fold that right? Good enough. <laughs> good enough, good enough. I got my big bucket of Christmas things sitting here still. And I'm hoping to put it away pretty soon. But I still might have to do a couple of pages. Which some of the stuff in that bucket, but that's okay. I'll go down to the magical basement and just get it. I was thinking of putting this somewhere. I bought this on clearance. I thought it might look nice on the page somehow. Put a little trim on there. Will that fit though? If I put the card down here, I could fit it across and then down the side and maybe put a little bow up there in the corner. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to glue this part down. Okay, this is what I've done so far. I've got the paper glued in. I took the vellum and I made two pockets for the ATCs. I might add something up here if I come across something. I have a space here, too. These are sort of like snowman themed, so maybe if I find something that will go with that, I might put that. might just add that to decorate a little bit, or a cocoa, right? Anyway, it could be enough. It could just be enough. <laughs> I really don't need to add extra things to this journal, right? Right. Okay, I've got the red trim glued down across the top, and I'm just putting some of this beacon poster foam board glue. It's like Fabri-Tac. A little bit different formula. I'm just sticking this down there and the card is going to overlap it, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. This card's a little big, unless I trim it. Hmm. I could trim it just a little bit and squeeze it in there. Am I still in frame? Yeah. All right, trimmed it just a teeny tiny bit. You can't even tell, except for it doesn't have the white border on the sides anymore. But all the design is there, and it fits perfect on the page. I'm using some tacky glue to put this down. Sufficient abundancy of glue on there. Where do I want it? Let's see. Got to leave room for this. Can pull it down a little bit. All right, I'm going to hold this just for a second, and then I'm going to glue that one down. And now I'm going to glue this one down. Oh, there's my bird clock. It's a morning dove. We've got quite a few morning doves in the yard today. And... Um, the fellow finally came and cut down the trees, the dead branches and trees that were over by, you know, where I have the picnic table where I like to work outside. But Mr. Possum told me I couldn't because the branches were falling everywhere. I mean, huge, giant chunks of branches were falling. That was in one of my videos. I'm going to pull this out for a second. <laughs> Yeah, so I can press this down. I mean, these three cards, look at this. These three people couldn't have planned this any better. <laughs> Make a beautiful page in my December daily Christmas in July journal. Now, do I have any bows? I don't know. Let me check. Maybe next year I should challenge myself to do all my Christmas journaling without buying anything. 
that I have a lot of stuff that I did not use this year. Oh, that's because I didn't make a new Christmas journal. That's probably what it is, right? Because I had made the gingerbread journal last year for December daily, but I had made this one in the summer. Okay, that needs something in the middle. I think a blue flat back pearl will fit perfect. Really matches the background. Yeah, so maybe that'll be my challenge. I haven't made a lot of plans, you know, things like get organized. <laughs> Not going to do that. Lay out when I'm going to do everything. Not going to do that. People are like joining challenges and planning the year. All that good stuff. Okay, well, there it is. Sorry about all the glare on there, but that's a sparkly. There you go. That's a sparkly envelope. All right, so, again, please visit the three ladies who sent me these wonderful cards and ATCs and goodies. Oh, I'm going to put the other one back. Here it is. Let me get that in the envelope. like so and there we have it thanks for coming along Oop. thanks for coming along today bye bye nope wasn't finished just as I was closing the book this little flap popped up and I'm like oh Let's put something festive there to hold the flap down. And all I did was uh, punch out a piece of that paper with the round hole punch there. And I put another sparkly sticker and another jewel there. Okay, now I'm done.